Okay, in this video, I will go through chapter one, section 1.2, which is algebraic fraction of pure mathematics two. Okay, example five. These are very simple examples, just uh, some numerical example, which will, uh, I just want to show basically the same principles can apply for algebraic uh, operations as well, okay? So, 3 over 5 multiplies by 5 over 9. I'm sure you know this from TS stage. Silly. So, 3 and 9. They simplify to, this one becomes 3 and this 1. 5 and 5 becomes 1 and 1. Now 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. So therefore, 3 over 5 times 5 over 9 is 1 over 3. So let's look at to another example, B. A over B times by C over A. So as said earlier, the same principle applies for algebraic operations. So A and A, they are the same letter. So we can cancel them. And this one becomes 1 as well as this one. 1 times C is C. Of course, we cannot simplify C with B because they are different letters. And B. C over B. Let's move on to a bit complex problem. Okay, x plus one over two times by three over x squared minus one. So the second fraction, the denominator of the second fraction is a quadratic. So we need to simplify this first or rather factorize, okay? So let's write down the first one as it is. X plus one over two times by three over X squared minus one, uh, difference of two squares. It becomes X plus one times by X minus one. Okay. So X plus one and X plus one cancels out. So this is one and this one is one. One times three is three. Two times one is two and two open bracket x minus one. Now it's up to you whether to expand this bracket or leave it like this. So I normally would leave as it is. Let's move on to example five, uh, example six now. Example six A over B divided by A over C. So to solve this, all we need to do keep first fraction as it is, change the division sign to multiplication multiplies by, and so up the top and bottom of the second fraction, C over A. Now, A and A cancels to 1 and 1. 1 times C is C, B times 1 is B. C over B. Okay. So this one was example 6A, and let's move on to 6 Okay, x plus 2 over x plus 4 divided by 3x and 6 over x squared minus 16. Okay. 
If we look at the first fraction, x plus 2 over x plus 4, we cannot simplify this fraction at all. Okay, so what we need to do, write down the first fraction as it is. Change the sign of the uh, division sign to multiplication. Then swap the top and bottom. But in the meantime, while we swap in the top and bottom, we can factorize this. x squared minus 16 becomes x minus 4 times by x plus 4. Okay. Over factorize from 3, you get x plus 2 in the bracket. Now, we can simplify this. So we've got x plus 2 here and x plus 2 here. So they simplify to 1 and 1. Okay, however, we've got 3 x plus 4 and x plus 4, which is equal to 1 times x minus 4 times 1, which is x minus 4. 1 times 3 is 3. Okay. So up to this point, you should be able to do exercise 1b. So now let's move on to the part B of uh, section 1.2 of chapter 1. Okay, so this lesson will focus on more adding and subtracting uh, algebraic fractions. Okay, so example. Seven. 1 over 3, add 3 quarter. So the first and most important thing when you're adding uh, two fractions is finding the common denominator. To find the common denominator, okay, let's look up to the lowest common multiple. So here, 3 times 4 is 2 value. 12 is the highest, uh, like the lowest common multiple. We multiply 3 by 4, therefore 1 times by 4 is 4. And 4 by 3, which is, in the meantime, 3 times 3 is 9. Now, 4 at 9 is 13 over 12. 13 and 12, they are not divisible by the same number, therefore that's the simplest point. Okay, part B. A over 2x plus B over 3x. Like previous question, we need a common denominator. So you might think in first go 2x times 3x is 6x squared. But it's not the case because We've got x and x here, so therefore x is common in both of them. Okay, so if x is common in both of them, what we need to do is just choose x from both. Okay, however, I write it as a one single fraction. 2 times 3 is 6x. I multiply 2x by 3, therefore 3a, and then I multiply 2x, uh, 3x by 2, which is 2b. 3a plus 2b, they are not like terms. We cannot add them up, therefore, leave as it is. Okay. Example 7c. 2 over x add 3 minus 1 over x plus 1. Okay, so, okay, x plus 3, x plus 1, so the denominators are not the same. You might think there is x in this one and in this one, but x is not by itself here. x plus 3 is one term and x plus 1 is one term as well, so it's not the same as previous one. 
previous one was 2x 3x it was multiplication but here 2 times x 3 times x it's multiplication here is addition so therefore this x is not the same x plus 3 is not the same as x plus 1 so the common denominator here would be x plus 3 times by x plus 1. So we multiply the first uh, denominator by x plus 1. Therefore, 2x, two, 2 times x plus 1, which is 2x add 2, minus 1 times x is x, minus 1 times minus 3, uh, 3 is minus 3, which is 2x minus x is just x, 2 minus 3 is minus 1 x plus 3 and x plus 1 in denominator. You don't have to expand the denominator. You can leave it as it is. Okay, so we cannot simplify this x with any of this because x minus 1 is one term, x plus 3 is one term, and x plus 1 is one term. So they are not the same terms. Okay, so let's move on to part D. 3 over x plus 1 minus 4x over x squared minus 1. Okay. We can factorize this one. Let's factorize x squared minus 1 to see what we get. 3 over x plus 1 minus or x over x plus 1 times by x minus 1. Okay. We can clearly see the first denominator is x plus 1. Second denominator is x plus 1 times x minus 1. Therefore, x plus 1 is common in both of them. So to subtract these two fractions, all we need just multiply the first fraction by x minus 1 as well. So the common denominator becomes x plus 1 times by x minus 1. We multiply the first one by x minus 1. It becomes 3x minus, 3 minus, uh, yeah, 3x minus 3 minus 4x. We didn't multiply the second denominator by anything. Therefore, 3x minus 4x is minus x minus 3 over x plus 1, x minus 1. Okay, so end of the example 7, and now you should be able to do exercise 1c, which is page 8 from pure 2. And that we see exercise 1b was page 6 to 7. From pure two. Okay. Here is the end of the section one point two from uh, pure two. Okay, I pull up the solution. Okay, that's it for now.